the floating potato chip. This is a very funny effect to perform, and you can also do it with a mint or a cookie also. I mean, with invisible thread, you will be able to accomplish great effects. So for the explanation, what you are going to need, of course, a pack of uh, potato chips, and you're going to need your thread. Actually, you're going to use, as I, it is explained in trick number 22, as I begin all the thread uh, explanation videos, if you have not seen that video, go and see it now. Trick number 22, you understand how the invisible thread works, how to unthread the thread, and how to connect the thread. So you're gonna use uh, from your main thread one very invisible line, okay? And you're going to connect the piece that goes to the ear, as explained in trick number 22, the same way you have done with all the other tricks. So you grab the long plastic tab, you attach it to the side, you are familiar already with this, you, tw you twist it uh, towards you two times, right? And attach the thread, and secure the tape and the thread by folding it this way. This piece will go to your ear. In the meantime, I'm gonna leave it just here, over here. Now, in the other uh, part, you are not going to use the small uh, um, adhesive tape tab. Instead, you are going to need to use blue tack. What is blue tack? Well, as you see, this is blue tack. There's also white tack, okay? And I prefer white instead of blue, but I'll explain you in a minute. This was commercially known, and it is commercially known as blue tack. It's kind of like a potty, all right, that you can use to like for example, um, place posters on the wall, right? Do some, some expo work and that kind of stuff. You can find this at any library store, just ask them for blue tack, okay? So as I said, this is blue and I prefer the white one. So if you get a uh, white one in an office supplies, it's much better, okay? I'm gonna create a little bowl, okay? Of about half centimeter uh, diameter, all right? And this is very sticky material, okay? I'm gonna grab this and place it in the, uh, at the end of the thread, right? And I'm gonna run it a couple of times in between the little ball, uh, mixing the thread and securing the thread inside of the ball, okay? So I have this part, this piece will go to my ear as in all the previous tricks, right? And this piece, I have to attach it, in this case, to a potato chip. But as I said, you can attach this to a cookie or to any other thing you want. Okay, so now what I'll do is this need a little preparation. I grab one chip from my back, right? And I attach the blue tack to one of the sides, okay? Be careful because this is, hmm, besides of delicious, is also very, um, how do you say, fragile, okay? So find the best spot and attach it here. So now that I have connected this to the thread and the blue tag, this chip, I will place it inside of the pack, laying on top of the other ones, and I can even close the back a little bit like this. Now I show my back, I can come ready, and then open the box this way. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just put my hand in between contacting the thread, right? In between my index and middle finger, right? Extend, and like in the floating card effect, right? I'm gonna just pull and that, that chip will go to my hand. Once again, I come over here, wiggle my fingers and woo, the chip comes to my hand, okay? That easy. Now, I'm gonna bite to the chip, but make sure you don't eat the blue tag. If you do it by mistake, nothing is gonna happen, okay? It's not gonna harm you. But anyway, don't eat it and don't eat that invisible thread. So you just grab, mm. eat the chip, and of course the blue tag and the thread remains in my fingers. This is the explanation for the delicious floating chip.